real people in videos saying things they never said. Now, how could that be possible? Well, this is, of course, a creation of artificial intelligence, very sophisticated software, and then the reality that we live in a social media world. And let's not forget that it was a French charity very recently that released this video of President Donald Trump. Unlike most deep fakes, this one here admitting it was fake for their fundraising efforts. But just to give you an idea what we're talking about, have a watch of this. Today is a historic day. I have tremendous news. Today, we eradicated AIDS. Thank God. Thank you, Donald Trump. It's done. I made not just America. So this was the fake news that the charity says could one day be real. But what they were using there, technology that is deeply and highly controversial. Many people concerned when, of course, a video went viral of Nancy Pelosi appearing to make her slur. She, of course, uh, is uh, one of the leading Democrats in the United States. People concerned about what all this could mean for future election cycles and how you and I can tell the difference between fact and fake in audiovisual media. Well, Twitter now calling on the public to get involved with their efforts. They have announced that they are looking, and they'll be sending more details for all of us to start sharing details with them about A, finding these videos, but then what should be done with them? Let's not forget that Facebook, when it came to that video of Nancy Pelosi, said we will demote the video, but we're not going to delete the video. A lot of controversy around that policy decision. Well, Twitter saying in the coming weeks, we'll give you more information about how ordinary users can help join in. Now, at the same time as all this, I want to just bring up what Facebook, Amazon and Microsoft are doing. They have joined together to announce this, the deep fake detection challenge, they call it. These big tech companies under pressure now to deal with a threat that is emerging. But it is worth saying it is an emerging threat and not necessarily one we're surrounded by all the time. This is what a leading expert had to say to me. I have three concerns about making sure that it's effective. Uh, one is that we don't make people think they're surrounded by synthetic media already because they're not. Um, I think there's a real panic around this and they need to be careful to explain the current scope of the problem. Uh, the second thing is they need to make sure that it includes people who maybe aren't going to reply to a Twitter feed. And so it's critical they be talking to communities in the global south. And the third thing is I think they need to make it holistic, right? It's not just about policy. It's also about, you know, what are the tools they're going to build? How are they going to share data with investigators? How are they going to explain what they see to the public? Well, of course, just welcome then from experts in the field, but big pressure on these companies. 